Okay, all right, the sports here with Abel Sanchez, man. Uh, big fight, already in camp. Tell us how it's going, how's going to be looking, how's everything going? Uh, everything's going real well. We have a, a difficult fight in front of us. Today was his first uh, sparring day. Uh, I sparred, today? Yeah, I sparred him real light today. He only spars nine to ten days total for the fight. I never spar him anymore. Now. Really? Uh, 75 rounds at the most, yeah. Wow. Today was his first one. Did very well. Uh, he went six. Um, but you know what? It's uh, it's March the 18th. Uh, we can look great in the gym. We can do other things in the gym. But March the 18th is when it counts. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll get to that date in the best possible shape. In fact, tomorrow or Saturday is our 30 day 30 day weigh in. I expect him to be around 65, 66. Uh, uh, so he's he's on track. Uh, just March the 18th. We have a great guy in front of us. You said you only spar 19 days in, in the whole nine camp. days. Nine days. Nine days. Yeah. yeah. Ten. So, nine to ten days. Yeah. So. Like, do you switch out sparring partners with the same guys? No, no, no. We have in? five sparring partners right now. Oh, okay. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, there's two in camp now. Uh, David Benavides, who just came up to me right now, is, is heading up on Monday. And then we have three other guys flying in on Sunday. So we'll have five guys total in camp uh, sparring. And we'll go anywhere from six to nine rounds uh, for nine days. Do you switch out guys? Like every, Absolutely. They go a couple rounds. They only stuff. go a couple rounds just to make sure that they're fresh and give them a different look. Of course. Uh, but uh, they're all good fighters. Uh, David, I think, is 19 and 0 or 20 and 0. Uh, very good little fighter. We have uh, Ju Julius Jackson coming into camp, John Jackson coming into camp, a young man named Leatherwood from uh, back east coming into camp. So it's it's the right personnel. Now we just got to get the work done. Uh, are we we have asked you before, kind of uh, when Gennady sometimes uh, when he's in the fight, will let guys hit him, stuff like that. Uh, people have asked J Jacobs about that, and he's real like, well, you know, I hope he let, hope he does it with me, well, right? You know what? We don't know. We don't know what a threat is going to be once the fight starts. Right now, Okel Brook was a big threat. Uh, uh, who was it? Matthew Macknell was our big test. Uh, Curtis Stevens was our big test, and uh, David Lemieux was our big test but when it comes down to it when the fight starts and they start throwing punches if he doesn't have no respect for Daniel Jacobs you may see the same thing I don't know I hope not because that's not what I want that's not what our plan is but uh, if he sees nothing from Daniel Jacobs you know he could have no respect for him and just could walk right through him like he did Lemieux so I don't know until the fight starts he is a, a physically a, a bigger guy than, than Gennady is they all are see people don't understand this kid I'm telling you tomorrow he's gonna weigh 165 66 and this is this is in the morning getting up to wait to, so he can drive home and take care of some business his last time out and so when guys get in the ring with him they're all Jacobs probably weigh, Canelo would probably weigh 10, 15 pounds heavier than Chavez probably would weigh 25 pounds heavier than him so he is a small guy but uh, he gets the job done um, we we know what we have up against who we're going up against we know what we have to do uh, it's just a matter of uh, hoping nothing happens in camp to either one of them you know, so that we get, <coughs> excuse me so we get the 18th on on, uh, on the books but um, like I said today was the first day of sparring we'll see how it goes I want to ask you uh, Jacobs is up in Virgil Hunter's gym uh, that's the first time they've, they've done that is to, to, to be in that gym and obviously Virgil Hunter doesn't necessarily have like in-depth experience with Gennady he's not never really actually faced him but obviously with a lot the war talk for a while you know Virgil's been looking at him for a while does that aspect bring anything to the fight for you guys at all oh no not for me but it does for Daniel I think that if he's comfortable and Andre is comfortable with Virgil uh, Virgil's a great boxing mind okay but if they're comfortable together <laughs> I think it's it, it does nothing but help. Uh, it, it's gonna it's gonna give Daniel a different outlook. Uh, Andre's been with him forever, and he has got one look at it, and, and a, another great mind in the corner is gonna have a different look. So if Daniel can accept that, maybe it'll help him. I don't know until the fight starts, but we do know that he's a good fighter with with or without Virgil. And if Virgil adds something to him, well, oh, it could be even better. Is that kind of complimentary to you that they're kind of making these changes and kind of adding the, a great mind in Virgil? No, what it tells me that there's smart people. They're, no, they're smart people. And, and, and Daniel is smart enough to understand that he's, this is the biggest fight of his life. Whether we believe again that Gennady is the best fighter in the world, uh, Daniel believes in his mind that he's got a big, uh, big mountain to climb. So he's going to get everybody that he, he feels is going to help him to help him. Uh, I think that's a great thing.